Got a call out of uh, Morgan Stanley today by Mike Wilson upgrading energy to overweight. So it was the best performing sector, Joe, last month. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, obviously at the top of a lot of people's lists on areas uh, outside of tech and that continue to, to do well. What do you make of this call and, and what do you make of it uh, now after the sectors run a lot? Crudes run a lot too. We, we continue to maintain an overweight position to energy. Okay. This is more a gasoline story in terms of the performance of energy stocks than anything else. Does that mean I want if you, refiners? Is you absolutely I mean? want the refiners. Marathon Petroleum performing well year to date. It performed well last year. Phillips, Phillips 66, Valero all performing well. And it's important to understand that the strength in gasoline, I was out in Las Vegas, I paid four and a quarter for unleaded gasoline. So did everyone else in the gas station. No one turned away and said, oop, I'm not paying that price. They're paying the price because to Stephanie and Josh's point before, the economy is strong and there's no perfect economic world. So let's not sit here and look at oil at $86 and see gasoline up 30% and say, whoops, we don't want to be in the stock market because oil's going to be a problem. Guess what? Oil might go to $100 before this year's out and that doesn't mean you sell out of your energy equities or equities overall. Josh, this is where you really zeroed in uh, the other day, specific to, you know, these charts that you were focused on. It really was the refiners, the Phillips, the Marathons, it's Valero, et cetera. Yeah, look, I think when most people think of the energy sector, their first instinct is to think XLE, Chevron, Exxon, and with good reason, those are great ways to play it. But from my perspective, there's a lot more happening in energy worthy of investors' attention right now. There are actually, if you look at the median valuation of energy stocks in the S&P 500, this is a bespoke stat, uh, it's actually bigger than the median valuation of the tech stocks in the, in the same index. Most people wouldn't guess that. So there are many mid and large cap ways that you want to play. I prefer the IEO ETF. Look, the thing about energy stocks, Judge, is that they all move together in the end. Some might go up more than others, but if there's a rally in the commodity, pretty much you could throw darts at the sector and make money. So I simplify it. I own the IEO. Maybe Diamondback does better this week. Maybe Conoco does better last week. But overall, the sector is in a bull market, and I want to stay long here. Speaking of Conoco, Rob, you own that along with EOG, uh, Suncor, CNQ? Yeah, I mean, we just view these as a hedge against inflation and a hedge against geopolitical events. These companies are all uh, have mid-digit uh, shareholder yields. They're doing mid-digit buybacks. As Steph said early, they trade at five to seven times earnings. And you have the other tailwind that Josh mentioned, which is which is higher oil prices. And, uh, you know, the market's starting to wake up to that. It was hard to be long these names at the beginning of the year, very hard. And we've been overweight all year, and now it's starting to play dividends at a time when you need them to. Steph? Yeah, I mean, I, I like SLB, I like Diamondback, Diamondback I Exxon. like Exxon, I'm, I'm kind of doing like that barbell. Exxon is kind of like my safety dividend play. Um, Diamondback is kind of the, the real growth and they've totally changed with the Endeavor acquisition and now SLB, 14 times for 18% total revenue growth and 25% EBIT, EBITDA margins. To me, that's a bargain. I'm putting on my Weiss hat. I'm stirring the pot. I do not like this call. I do not like this call. Sector's 3% of the market. It's up 15%. Two of the top 10 performing stocks in the SP 500 Marathon and Valero. They have negative earnings growth the next 30%, next, next 12 months. I don't get it. Uh, I like Chesapeake and Small Midland. We own that. I own Phillips in my value, but you Chevron just think and that, well, You think the space has moved too much to make yes. this call now? Yes. It's, it's too late. It's late. All the way up to seven times. You know, you sit in a very dangerous yes. seat. I know. I. And I know the group is up 15% year to date, so you don't have to chase it. But it's really only up 16% in the past year. Last year was terrible for He energy. prefers to get his energy from the sun in, in, case, you <laughs> in case you haven't noticed. Okay, and I don't know why you're laughing either at the end. <laughs> Apparently you guys are on this. High, high blood pressure from working too hard. <laughs> <laughs>